bouncing baby balking at the bouncer, contesting his car seat, squirming in his swing, taking a stand in the form of fussy resistance when you'd rather he take a seat, any seat, to fend off seat struggles of all kinds, start by creating a diversion as you strap him in. Singing a silly song, holding up a favorite toy, blowing an endless stream of raspberries may distract him from the dreaded deed. Keep up the antics as he adjusts to the seat. The idea is to keep him so busy he forgets to protest and quickly add some entertaining toys, rotated often to keep interest up and boredom down. Or try a change of scenery. The back seat of the car isn't exactly a fascinating sight, but face it, baby's face is super entertaining, especially to her. So attach a mirror to the car's back seat that allows her to admire her adorable reflection. At home, place the bouncer on the floor in front of a full-length mirror. Move her infant seat often as you move around the house and make sure she can get an eyeful of the action around her. Interaction's where it's at for your little one, so talk, sing, and make eye contact often while he's seated, offering a smile, a tummy tickle, a quick round of peekaboo. Keep the interaction up as best you can from the driver's seat, no matter how many rounds of the wheels on the bus it takes to keep your baby content. And yes, choose your cartoons with baby's engagement in mind, even if they're mind-numbing to you. Consider comfort too, especially if you have a super sensitive baby. Make sure the straps are not too tight, that her head isn't flopping forward, that the seat isn't near a vent that's blowing chilly air, that the sun isn't in her eyes. Sometimes it's motion that babies crave. Supplying that is easy in a moving car. The purr of the engine and the motion of driving are soothing to many, though far from all babies. You can add movement to an infant seat as well. Turn on the rocking motion if there is one, or use your hand or foot to get the bouncer seat bouncing. All your efforts failed to ease the fussing. You clearly can't cave when it comes to the car seat. He'll have to sit it out safely, whether he likes it or not. But try switching it up at home. Wear your baby around the house if he's not content to sit or try a transfer to the activity mat or gym if you can stick close by to supervise, or let him flex his muscles and practice his flips and push-ups in a well-stocked play yard, safely confined but free to move. Cap at home seat, bouncer, or swing time to no more than 30 minutes at a stretch, even if your baby is completely content to sit it out longer, which some little ones are happy to do. All babies, including perfectly placid ones, need a chance to get a move on. So even if your uber chill munchkin doesn't resist sitting, make sure she gets plenty of floor time. After all, she can't master new skills or safely explore her environment or get enough social interaction with you and others when she's strapped into a seat. Here's to happy sitting.